Since our beginning, ESB networks have been building a network to support Ireland's energy requirements. In 1946, with the rollout of the Rural Electrification Project, we supported Ireland in moving from an underdeveloped peripheral region to one of the most developed countries in the world. Since then, ESB Networks has continued to develop and refurbish the Irish electricity network to maintain a world-class standard. Today, ESB Networks are planning for the future and how we are going to support Ireland in transitioning to a low-carbon energy system while providing secure supplies of green and affordable energy to our homes, farms and businesses. The energy landscape is changing. We are moving and transitioning to a low carbon economy and what this will mean for us is that there will be an increase in renewables, an increase in energy efficiency and also we will see the electrification of heat and transport. We have selected five great ambassadors to work with us over the three year project and the project itself will see the deployment of a number of different technologies across our ambassadors' homes and businesses. And those technologies range from solar PVs to battery management systems, air source heat pumps, EV chargers and peer-to-peer -peer trading devices. We are a super, super busy restaurant. It's a big tourist area, so we use a lot of energy, cookers, fryers. So if we can use renewable technology to, to run our business, to be more energy efficient and better for the environment, then that's brilliant. We close in the winter because it costs too much to heat the place in the winter time. So if we could use renewable technologies and have lesser bills, then potentially we could stay open all winter, which would be a huge plus for us. I want to be involved in the ESB Network Stingle project because I have interest in the renewable side of things. As a pilot project, it'll reflect that if this works in West Kerry, it can work anywhere. And I'd be hoping that, you know, if everyone done a little bit in the carbon emissions, we can all, I suppose, make a difference. I'd be very interested in the climate from farming background. We see what's happening in other countries now and uh, I believe we can do things better if we all work together. That was basically the reason why I wanted to get involved in it, yeah. If we work together, it's amazing what could be achieved in a few years. All the education we're going to gain, all that information will go back to the ESB and everybody can take a look at what we can all create and take the whole thing from there. We have six daughters. Hair straightener's been left on, internet, charging phones, everything. The house is a disaster. So I felt if we could get in on this and change things once and for all, it would be fantastic. Initially I wasn't sure what I was expecting from it, except that there would be gain and maybe bills would be reduced. And it was only when I got the rundown on the retrofit that I suddenly realised, oh my God, this is like winning the lotto. We probably are one of the most westerly houses on the edge of Europe, so we're exposed to all of the elements here and uh, we really just saw it as a great opportunity to, to get a bit of a glimpse of how things are going to look in the future. Ultimately, you would hope there'll come a point where the, the costs really start to stack up for people to think about this seriously. My experience with dealing with the community in Dingle has been fantastic. The Dingle community is really focused in terms of becoming a low carbon environment. So you have a really engaged, committed, proud community that really wants to do what they can to protect the environment going into the future.